Good morning everybody, what's up and welcome to already day four. It's already been three nights. Now in the morning we are going to visit the tree. I have no idea what that means, what's so special about the tree. I guess Nelson will tell us when we are there. And in the afternoon we'll go fishing. Fishing, something special and you will see it in the afternoon. So keep on watching the video. And this night we'll be sleeping outside. Yes, they changed the plans. We didn't do it yesterday, we'll be doing it today. lodge here with the pool and some rooms and the bar to get a beer and also for other people to get some Wi-Fi because they cannot live without the internet for more than two days I guess anyways we were lucky enough because this place is full of dolphins there are I think at least five dolphins swimming here jumping around On the other side there's even a, a caiman so far away that I can barely see it. We've been like one hour on the road, well on the boat. Now we'll see what this tree is about. Yeah, not bad. So this the Sumauma tree is actually the biggest tree in the world in diameter. For the film Avatar they actually came here and took pictures and film of it to inspire the trees that they used in that movie because there is no other tree with wider or bigger roots. coming here especially because on the way even though it was long like one hour we got to see a few animals that we didn't see before like a heron an osprey a special kind of bird that they call the bush peacock and also another caiman awesome Time to go piranha fishing with the camera. Well, actually, the camera is only here because we might see something and I don't want to miss it. See on the boat. We'll be fishing with this one. <laughs> if the piranha fall into the boat, you have to raise your feet. Oh, Because okay. if it touch any part of your skin, it would take the piece. There's forever the mouth touched. It's biting the hook. Loose the hook, please. Release it. Loose the hook. It's biting the hook. I <laughs> consegui. Oh, let me show you the teeth of it. Oh, oh this yeah. One. This one. Wow. Uh, you the bait. And you put it on the hook. Like this. <laughs> right? Also, guys, oh, don't worry. The fishes we put them back into the water and they really heal very fast so no worries about the fishes and then you throw the hook <laughs> Oh, 
tiny one. Don't yeah. hurt yourself and don't lose it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm a little bit scared to be honest. Why? Because I've never done something like this. But it's really easy. Yeah, now it's got one. It's a golden one. Beautiful tiny fish. When well, this one has smaller teeth than the other one. <laughs> My first time fishing and I think it was a success. But let's be honest, fishing a piranha with meat is really easy, isn't it? Like, she did it on her first try. Me, it took me like five tries till I got the first one. I think I did three in total. Good one. Hey guys, it's 9 p.m. and now it's time to sleep in the jungle or in that hut inside the jungle with a net around it. Don't know if I'll be able to film anything, probably not because it's too dark, but maybe I'll be able to film the sounds so that you get a feeling of everything. Looks so empty and dark. That's how it sounds here. I'm whispering because everyone else is sleeping. I slept like two hours in the jungle, yay! Now I wanna go get to the real bed and sleep again. <laughs> One of them was snoring so much I couldn't sleep. I was smart enough to actually take my noise cancelling headphones with me because I knew that someone would be snoring, like always, in this kind of events. But they only work if they are connected to a device, I'll say turn off automatically. So couldn't really use them. Because of that I didn't sleep much. So that was the night here in the jungle. Now we'll go back, have breakfast. Thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next video. And again, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.